beginning, we did not exist to see how the universe was formed. But the observation, the formulation of hypotheses, and the elaboration of scientific theories allowed us to develop a rational view of how the universe began, of how the chemical elements were created, of how they grew into stars and galaxies, and how a solar system was formed, with planets, gases giants, and barren dwarfs, moons, and comets, and sometimes unique places. The Earth, our planet. No similar place has been found yet, nor the wonder that was produced here has been repeated elsewhere. The appearance of life. At the beginning, we did not exist to see how life was generated. And when man wondered where he came from, he also had to observe, formulate hypotheses, and elaborate scientific theories. At the mountains, there were remains of ammonites and fishes. And within sediments, remains of tremendous bones and skulls of terrible animals nobody had ever seen. Strange animals were discovered, but all this was seen like an infinite garden at the service of man, the center of the universe. In a five-year-long historical voyage in the vessel Beagle, the English naturalist Charles Darwin gathered samples and accumulated observations at Cape Verde, Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Australia, South Africa. His visit to the Galapagos Islands remains as a culminating point of one of the most important scientific expeditions of natural sciences. Since his return to England on October 2nd, 1836, Darwin worked on the ideas he gestated during the voyage. The observations led him to think that species were not eternal and immutable entities, and devised the mechanism by which they evolved – natural selection. Within this process of species evolution, the human species was included. Humans were near the simians and came from the same evolutionary branch. When Darwin explained his theory in the book On the Origin of Species, published when he was 50 years old in 1859, 150 years ago, it seemed offensive to human pride. Telescopic observations by Galileo in 1609, a centennial also this year, showed, contrary to the opinion of many, that the universe did not always spin around the Earth. The observations by Darwin and the analysis he made motivated even deeper intellectual changes because they evidenced that the universe did not exist only for human existence. The Earth is a place full of life, with domestic animals, Animals that are wild, known, and strange, and rare. It seems incredible that all this diversity has evolved without a plan. That complex organs have been developed, like the wings of insects, birds, and mammals. or the ocelli of Hexapoda and the eyes of so many animals. Man has a gift of consciousness of life and once created, a conscious soul has difficulties to assume that a species, as an individual, he could be the tip of some facts without a plan. There is a continuous link from each of us to the spark of the original replication. But the human species can be the fruit of a series of fortuitous circumstances during the evolution of life on this magnificent planet. Humanity has made works and discoveries which were unimaginable in Darwin's time.
the yearning that he was wrong still reappears in some. Though it is almost impossible to find each and every one of the links that connect the tree of the species, to understand the biodiversity on the surface of this planet next to a yellow star at the corner of a minor galaxy, the theory of evolution conceived by Darwin with some unavoidable finishing touches is at present the best scientific theory we have.